I remember in my younger days, I'd hear older people always complaining about their aches and pains. And I thought, boy, I hope I don't have those and I hope I can stay young and healthy. Well, time has passed and now I'm one of those older people and boy, do I have some aches and pains. I wanna to talk to you about it in your morning cup of inspiration. I hurt my knee several years ago. I'd had surgery on it and then I jumped off the diving board with my grandkids and I hurt it again and it's just become worse and worse with time. And a couple weekends ago, I was playing pickleball with Terry and our friend Scott Lang and some other friends, and I wore a brace on it, by, but by the end of that day, boy, my knee was just killing me. It seems to be uh, filled with fluid and it's sore. And then last weekend, I was helping Brian's wife, Debbie, lift something very heavy up into a dumpster, and I hurt my lower back. So I am just a mess, I'm hobbling around. I tried to walk around the block today and it took me forever. And I'm hoping that some of these pains will ease. When I get to Michigan, I'm gonna have to have my knee taken care of and find a good chiropractor. But you know, we wonder why we have these aches and pains. And I know a lot of you have lived with chronic pain. And I know that that is extremely difficult. And you're probably asking God, why? Why hasn't he taken it away from you? And I, I don't know why, but Paul wrote about a thorn in the flesh that he had that didn't seem to go away. We read about it in 2 Corinthians 12, verses 7 through 9. I'm reading from the King James Version. And it says, And lest I should be exalted above measure, through the abundance of the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. So Paul felt like God was allowing Satan to cause his pain so that he didn't get a big head, so that he st stayed humble because Paul had great revelations and he had a direct encounter with God when his name was changed from Saul to Paul. And then we go on to read in verse eight, for this thing I besought the Lord thrice that it might depart from me. So three times he went before God and pleaded that God would take this pain away. Verse nine says, and he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. So remember, through your aches and pains and whatever situation you're facing, God says, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Sometimes I think that's why we have these human frailties. But I'll be praying for you and please pray for me that we'll have some, uh, some relief from this uh, pain. I know that it will eventually go away and subside. God bless you and I'll talk to you soon for another morning cup of inspiration.